What's up everybody? My two cents back and we're going to do a quick look at this Joy-Con Comfort Grip. Uh, this one is a Power A grip. I got it from Amazon and they're an official licensed Nintendo. You can see it's got Power A here and then it's got the official Nintendo licensing logo on there also. We're going to take a quick look at this and compare it to the official Nintendo one that comes with the Nintendo Switch. We see right off the bat that uh, the design is a little bit different. See, it's a little bit thicker. It looks a little bit stubbier than the official one also. I can also see that it doesn't have metal inserts on the sides. Uh, this one is about half the price of the official Nintendo one on the online store. Uh, so we can't expect it to be identical. It does have a little bit different texture also. Let's take our Joy-Cons and go ahead and slide them in here. It does get a nice good solid click in also. Let's try the opposite side. And that's a little bit more snug. I'll try that again. Maybe it was just off center. It looks like it's just a little bit stiffer on that side. And it definitely works for uh, showing the LEDs on the middle of the controller. Uh, you can see that the back's a little bit bulkier here also. Everything seems to function properly. I mean, really, there's not much to do here. It's just giving you a, a piece of plastic kind of uh, pushing the light into the center. No official Nintendo logo on the center either, uh, which is to be expected. It does unclip and clip in. I've got to say, it's got a pretty satisfying snap in place there also. Uh, so no worries about that one. It's not as smooth as uh, the official controller. Without the metal kind of rails, uh, you'd expect that also. Let's take a look and see how they compare. So you can see the Power A one on the right is a little bit shorter. Uh, it looks a little bit fatter than the Nintendo one. The center portion of it is also just a hair wider than the official Nintendo one also. And if you look, you can see the metal rails, rails here. On this one, it doesn't have the metal. It's just plastic. I have seen some reports that the metal railing on the Nintendo one actually scratches your Joy-Cons on the inside. Not that you necessarily care that much, but... The grip's slightly different on the Power A one. It's a little bit uh, fatter uh, down towards the palm, uh, which I actually really enjoy. After using this for a little while, i got to say that I actually enjoy this more than the Nintendo one. On uh, the Nintendo one, the Joy-Cons do snap in better, uh, but it's not a big deal. Uh, when it comes to overall use. The Power A ones do clip in there. Just this one side is a little bit stiff, but I, I'm guessing that'll kind of ease up with time. And I've got to say that I'm really enjoying the fatness of this controller. I mean, with the Nintendo one, it's pretty narrow around uh, where you wrap your fingers around, and that hurts my hand a little bit over time. With the little bit fatter one, it's not as big of a stretch uh, for me to reach around. You can see right here, it's got that extra palm soil on it, uh, which is quite nice. It's also got a little bit of a different texture. It's kind of a, a rubberized texture also, uh, right here on the bottom. The front side is a harder plastic. The back side is a little bit softer or textured plastic. It gives it a, a rubbery feeling, which is, is nice also. Uh, it does make it a little more comfortable to hold. I'm not sure if people with smaller hands would enjoy the Nintendo one a little bit more. I mean, I don't have large hands. I'd say I have a medium-sized hand. Um, but using this Switch-provided controller over time, um, kind of the my my bottom two fingers start to hurt because I'm wrapping them around so much. Maybe I'm just gripping it. So I don't have that same problem with the Power Ray controller. I do get more comfort on that also. Uh, the texture on it uh, feels nice. It does get, I don't know, it feels a little bit sticky if you played for a, a long time. Um, but I've got to say, for 50% of the price, for 10 bucks is what I got this off of Amazon. And I'll actually throw a link down in the description below. I would say this is well worth it. Uh, definitely a, a good buy. Let's see if this other side has a problem. Yeah, it's just this one side of the power is a little bit sticky. Not a big deal. Uh, definitely not a deal breaker for me. I would say, honestly, if I had to choose between the two of them, I would actually choose the Power A for uh, what I'd play with every day. It's just so much nicer to hold for me and my grip size than the official Nintendo one. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.